Hello guys, here I am again, Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team and with YouTube channel Laravel Business. Today I want to talk about deployment, specifically deployment for Laravel projects. And I want to show you how it was done before, like 5-10 years ago, and how it's done now. So here I am uh, on the homepage of Laravel Forge, which is created by the same guy who created Laravel, uh, Taylor Otwell, thank you for that. And uh, let's remember how we did project deployment back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, or even like five years ago. We used something like this, like FileZilla, FTP client. So it was okay to deploy project to the server by, by uploading just files via FTP, then going into phpMyAdmin for database changes or SQL Pro, whatever you, whatever you want. Uh, and deploy projects like that. But this uh, thing has a major flaw. Like, it, I wouldn't even call that a deployment because basically you're uploading files one by one or just rewriting all of it and you're hoping it will all upload uh, okay, nothing will break, the connection will stay strong and it will basically work. But you have no actually guarantee you have like, you. I would call it fingers crossed driven development or something like that. So uh, we used to do it back in the day until we have uh, until we create uh, started using uh, version control systems like Git. So the next step of the evolution were, were repositories and version control systems like uh, Bitbucket or GitHub. We use Bitbucket in our team a lot because of the private repositories which are for free. Um, and yeah, this is the example. So you uh, commit your project into repository and then the deployment would be going through uh, SSH client to SSH, uh, SSH connecting to the server and then uh, running something like git pull there. So you SSH into the server like I am doing now. Um, you would run command something like that. It would pull the latest changes actually. Let's try it out. Uh, already up to date, so nothing, nothing to update. But this way, you're running the command, and you're pretty sure that it will, uh, it will download necessary files, or it will throw an error if something goes wrong. So it's much more stable. And the next step of the evolution in terms of Laravel projects is Laravel Forge, which we use inside Team. Uh, and I want to show you briefly how it works for those who don't. Uh, who are not familiar, so you, you see the price here, it, it's like uh, first impression, why pay 15 or 30 dollars per month for deployment, where I can go myself, association to a server and deploy myself. Uh, it's true when you have one project or two projects, when you have plenty, it saves a huge amount of time. So I'll show you how exactly. So first thing, well, I'm just showing my Forge account, First, you can quickly create a server from uh, DigitalOcean, uh, Amazon, or Custom VPS. So you connect your DigitalOcean account here into Forge, and you basically just choose what resources you need, and it creates the server automatically. Then when you have created the server, you can, um, that's the next step. On that server, you can create a new site, which is shown here. So you enter like, uh, ForgeDemo.com or something, then you get IP address and you uh, point your domain to that IP address after the, afterwards. So after you've created the site, the next step is actually uh, put the code into the Forge. N not the code, but to assign the code. So here you can just click Git Repository, choose Bitbucket or Custom, just put in whatever repository you need, like my name slash Lara quiz uh, and install and it will automatically uh, install basically it would do git clone with uh, install with composer install if you check that uh, checkbox uh, of course you need to put your SSH key into here I've missed that part but uh, then it happens by magic how exactly so here I am inside of my uh, server and site created. Uh, I'm using laraquiz.com as an example. That's a real project which we've launched recently. So here you can specify the deployment script, deploy script it's called. So uh, here it is. It's actually a default Laravel Forge script uh, provided. So it's 
it's doing the same thing that you would do by SSH into the machine. So change the folder, doing git pull as I did previously, then uh, running composer install and artisan migrate with some uh, with some keys with some additional parameters that uh, that allows a command to run without any interruptions, without any interactions with user. And here you can enable quick deploy. Quick deploy means that whenever something is committed to the repository, immediately the deployment will trigger. So we use that for staging servers, not for the live ones, but for staging servers, whenever something is pushed, we do quick deploy and then we use Slack to, to send the message of a successful deployment. Also, uh, you can view latest deployment log. Uh, it should show in a second. Come on. Yep. So that was the latest deployment log. It, it yeah, it was like just the result of all of that. Like you would see that in the in the command line in the terminal. So the deployment, uh, it's like two ways. Either you enable quick deploy or you uh, log into the forge and click this button, deploy now. So actually, we can click it now. Uh, it won't uh, deploy anything because there are no changes, but it will still deploy, it will still run. So uh, there you can see deploying uh, it should take like 30 seconds or something. The same, like it's running Composer install, so it takes a while. And then you can view latest log, which will probably show nothing to install. Yep, yeah, something like that already up to date. So this is how we deploy projects. Uh, in our team, there are some more functionality uh, for uh, Forge. There are like notifications, there are queues, uh, SSL certificate management, and uh, stuff like that. But I do recommend Forge just because of deployment and it saves time. It might uh, take a while to set up, but it saves a lot of time in the end. I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is basically it, and uh, I hope you will deploy your project securely with uh, proper tools and without FTP clients. See you in the next episodes of, uh, of Laravel Business.